Hello everyone. After square, knuckle, BSW and metric external thread, today's topic is metric internal. Let's begin with the problem. Draw to scale 1 is to 1. The standard profile of a metric thread internal taking a large pitch as 50 mm give standard dimensions. So for metric thread internal, internal means it's a part of nut. First of all, we are required to calculate all standard dimensions based on the pitch. So, for a pitch of 50 mm, given pitch is 50 mm, we are required to calculate all standard dimensions. P, half of P, half of pitch, 25 mm. Then, major dia, capital D, 0.86 of P, that is 43 mm. Minor dia small d 0.54 of p 0.54 of p for internal thread internal metric thread value is 27 mm next capital D by 4 it is 10.75 mm and capital D by 8 the value is 5.5 3, 7, 5 mm. So these are standard values or standard dimensions of metric thread internal. Now for construction work, we are required to modify these values. So 43 is okay, 27 is okay, but 10.75. After round up, we'll take 11 and 5.375, we'll take 5 mm for construction work. So these are final values for construction work. Next limits of major dia capital D and minor D. So for limits of major dia and minor D, first of all draw vertical line, vertical chain line, this is chain line and mark all four points or limits of capital D and small d. Starting from first limit. This is first limit of capital D, then D by 8 or 5 mm. So from first line, 5 mm is the distance or gap for second line. This is first limit of a small d minor dia. Then second limit of minor dia 27 from this point. And last limit or lower limit of capital D, D by 4 or 11 mm apart. So, these are four limits of major dia and minor dia. Now, from all four limits or all four points, please draw lines parallel to each other representing upper and lower limits of major dia and minor dia. Capital D and small d. to each other so these are limits of major and minor dia next row vertical lines parallel to each other and 25 mm apart 25 mm from the first line and these are chain lines to draw accordingly. Next limit 25 mm apart. Again, next line 25 mm apart. Again, 
So, these vertical lines are representing center lines for all roots and crests. Next, from first, from first corner or first bottom corner to next top corner. From this point to that point, draw straight lines. And these lines are locus of flanks of metric thread. So from top corner to next bottom corner, next bottom corner to next top corner and so on. Now it's an internal thread. So these are crests and these are roots. For internal threads, roots. Again roots are rounded. So from these two points, draw rounded roots like this rounded root and for construction of rounded root what to do take this much as radius this much as radius from first point of intersection of this line and flank to second point this has radius and just mark center somewhere here get common intersection point common intersection point will be your center and from that center this much as radius draw rounded roots similarly draw rounded roots these are rounded roots right and all crests are flat so use dark hd pencil now draw rounded roots straight flank and flat crests and we know that it's an internal thread it's an internal thread so from this point this point using short break line finish your work ok so this is the profile profile of internal metric thread next is hitching please hitch this part because this part is representing the internal thread portion or threaded portion of a nut Again for hitching, gap between two lines is 2 to 3 mm. Next dimensioning, please show pitch from crest to crest or from root to root. Half of pitch, pitch and half of pitch. This is pitch. Half, point five of pitch. Then thread angle. 60 degrees angle between two flanks small d capital D 
d by 4 and d by 8. These are standard dimensions capital D equals to 0 0.86 of D small d equals to 0 0.54 of P then capital D by 4 and capital D by 8 so these are standard values standard values means standard ratios of metric thread internal next table for standard dimensions Please write all values in the table. So, you are required to write calculated value. 5.375 and 10.75 so here please write 10.75 and d by 8 is 5.375 5.37 or 375 last angle internal thread is 60 and after dimensioning table please write heading or labeling for the figure So this is the standard profile of metric thread internal. Please draw this problem on your sheet. Please write all standard dimensions in terms of P. Show angle, angle of the thread. And please write all numerical values of standard dimensions inside the table. And write naming or name of this profile, profile of metric thread internal. And if you have any problem, any doubt in this profile, or in any of the topic of engineering graphics, please write your comments in the comment box. Thank you.